Today is day five, first full day as fiancés, and we are already running late. <laughs> it's 7.20 right now, and we have a bus tour all day that we have to go check in for. It is the big four. We are going to Glencoe, Glen Finnan, Ben Nevis, and Loch Ness. So that'll be a lot of fun, as long as we make it there before the check-in closes and we can actually get on the bus. Also, since we have time and we're walking and there's no one around so I feel comfortable filming, first of all, the ring is a little too big. It fits perfectly on my middle finger. I definitely don't know my ring size so that's kind of on me, but it at least fits one of my fingers. So. For pictures, I'll switch it over, but for it to feel secure, it'll be there. Also, fiancé is kind of a funny word. It sounds very fancy, so Scott has been saying it as fiancé and just making it even more fancy and ridiculous. So if I end up saying that in this video or in any videos, that is why. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Finish off at the Village of Doors, which is... Yeah, one of the of the UK. So let's uh, let's hope that maybe we get a uh, repeat. There's actually a lot more, a lot more dangerous actually in a lock than it is on the sea. Uh, yeah, that was his homemade submarine that he took down to remind us of the force of the English. And um, the damage that you see on the castle today has nothing to do with the English. And that's We are at our first official stop of the day. We did take a couple stops to take pictures at Urquhart Castle on Loch Ness and then also at the Commando Memorial to see some mountains. It was very beautiful. But now we are at Glenfin to see the Jacobite train go over the bridge, also known as the Hogwarts Express, go over the bridge from Harry Potter. So there's the bridge, right there, train should be coming in like 10-ish minutes I think, right, right over there. There goes the steam. Stop number two, hopefully you can hear me over the waterfall back there. We are at Ben Nevis, which is that mountain. It's the tallest mountain in Scotland. It might be the tallest mountain in the UK. I can't remember, but there's also like a shipwreck right here. Very cool.
well guess what, I'm still in my local council area. And it's incredible, absolutely incredible. Well, this whole place was for people that were willing to go through it. called the Three Sisters. What do you think? Pretty cool. Quick stop at Inverlochy Castle. We're making our way back to Inverness now. We're both very tired. <laughs> I think we just have one more stop after this. So that should be nice. Are you gonna try and skip another rock? Oh, All right. Dang. <laughs> Last big stop of the day. We are in Fort Augustus to get some views of Loch Ness. So we're gonna be here and just wander around for like half an hour and then keep heading back. I think we'll have a couple other just quick photo stops, but this is the last big one. stop of uh, Loch Ness as well at the village of Doors. Loch. The Loch of the Bull River. Tarf the Bull River. just stopped in a little town called Doors which again has an incredible view of Loch Ness and Scott is over at the bar with our tour guide he's recommending whiskeys for him we're I guess grabbing a drink we're gonna be here for just a little bit but I just think it's funny that the tour guide is giving him whiskey recommendations it's, it's very cute Day six, we are just getting ready to leave today. We have an all day Isle of Skye tour, which I'm very excited about. This was actually the first tour that I knew 
I wanted to do while we were here and yesterday even though the sights were absolutely incredible and it was so beautiful our tour guide was saying he thinks we are going to like this one better than we like the one from yesterday so that's really exciting we're doing it with the same exact tour company which I'm really glad that we booked two tours with them they've been awesome it's actually a small local tour guide company the driver that we had yesterday him and his wife started it like 10 years ago and they only have three drivers so i'm glad we did two tours with them and not with one of the big multi-billionaire companies they're just so wholesome they all the drivers will wear kilts on the tours so i'm i'm really excited for this one and fun fact apparently this is the tour that scott was originally thinking he would propose to me on right it was today either today or yesterday but I'm glad that he was too impatient to wait for that and things worked out like they did. And now I, I still have my ring on the wrong finger right now, but I'm just glad that I already have it. Uh, what I think we're going to try and do a quick ninja stop at Elkin Castle. I've taken a video. There's a one million pound reward for a video of our picture. And uh, find a single photograph that you need to manipulate. To get a video and send it off to a Scottish daily record. We are on the Isle of Skye now in Portree. This is where uh, King James exiled all the fairies. So when we went over the bridge, we had to say that we believe in fairies to, so the trolls didn't, I don't know, so they let us through. I'm so tired. But we're just wandering around Portree right now, which is really pretty. We're by the colorful buildings right now and then I think we'll do a little bit of shopping here, have some lunch, and get back on the bus. We don't know what's going on, but you can see all these people on these stairs over here. There's people with cameras and policemen, and we, we have no idea what's happening, but... <laughs> They keep getting in our way. We keep ending up in the exact spot that they are in and we're trying to get away. Well, we found out what all the commotion was. It was Prince Charles and Camilla. just like everywhere else we've been. <laughs> Trying to talk to the sheep. 
They know an ignorant American when they see one. <laughs> Photo stop at Kilt Rock. Scott is terrified. I like the open ocean. The open We just got to the fairy pools. We're about to hike down. This is the part I was the most excited about. Look at how beautiful. We are back in Inverness and now we are having some dinner. We stopped at a little Indian pop-up restaurant called Tiger on the Wall. So we're gonna have some dinner and then head back to the B&B and probably pack because we are actually leaving Inverness tomorrow morning. So I guess that's it for today. It is day seven, our last full day in Scotland. We're actually getting ready right now to leave Inverness, to leave the Highlands, which is kind of sad. We're about to go down to the train station and get a train back to Edinburgh. And then we're just going to spend the day doing some last minute shopping, walk around Edinburgh and just soak up the last day of Scotland. To Edinburgh we found our hotel which looks really nice we got like a bougie four-star hotel since we're only staying there one night unfortunately our room wasn't ready yet so we didn't get to see what it looks like but even just the lobby looked incredible so I'm really excited about that but since we couldn't officially check in we went to get some lunch at the painted rooster we got some pierogies the receptionist at our hotel saw my last name and asked me if I had Polish roots, and I do. 
and so he sent us there we got pierogies and then we went to the johnny walker whiskey experience which i guess just opened like last week and scott got whiskey and a glass and i got this sweatshirt which scott immediately put on so it's chilly <laughs> now we're sitting in the gardens the prince street gardens by the castle we're gonna have some shortbread little picnic we did our shopping we had some dinner and now we are <laughs> heading back to the hotel to check in and see our room <laughs> scott's like jumping around we're playing a game to see who can step on the most loose tiles so far i'm winning so he's stressed because we're almost back at the hotel but i'll give you guys a little tour i'll try to show you some of the lobby and then of course i will show you our room once we get there we are hoping that they have robes that's the that's the big hope right now We just got into the hotel room. <gasps> Scott, look at this bathroom. Okay, let me give you the tour. So this is where you come in. There's a little coat hooks, and then you walk in. Look at how amazing this is. There's the bed, and then this view. Look at this view. Oh my goodness, Scott's opening the windows. Holy cow, that's amazing. And then the bathroom is massive. It's echoing in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have a bidet and everything. I'm so happy we went all out for this last night. This is amazing. Still not over how amazing this hotel is. Even look at the ceilings. This is crazy. But I'm about to take my COVID test that I have to do to get back into the US. We did a, um, we got these home tests that you can do and we're about to call in and do like a telehealth appointment so that someone can verify that we are who we say we are and we're doing the test correctly and everything like that. So we're going to do this, hang out in this amazing room and then probably pack and get things all ready to go to leave tomorrow. So sad about leaving, but honestly, I think both of us are ready to go home. We have done so much in this past week. It has just been jam packed and now all of the fatigue is setting in and the excitement is starting to wear off and we're just really tired and also really excited to go home and like see our families and share and celebrate our engagement. Oh, this ring is still, I know it's on the wrong finger, but it's just so incredible. Oh, this trip has been so amazing. I'm not ready for it to end, but I can't wait to go home and have some normalcy. <laughs> Good news, this hotel does have robes and Scott is wearing his for his COVID test. <laughs> He's about to call someone to supervise his test while wearing his hotel robe. It is 5.30, we are getting ready to leave. Our hotel was so kind, they accommodated us for breakfast since we were leaving so early. They just brought it to us when normally they don't start serving breakfast until 7.30, so we're gonna eat this. Our taxi should be here at six o'clock, take us to the airport, and then we're out of here.